Hello everybody. I decided to do a baby update. Child, get used to having another newborn baby is interesting. Let me say she is very demanding. She eats more to me. She I feel like she eats more than any other baby that I've ever had in my life. <laughs> like she honestly she's ready for another bottle every hour on the hour. It's like she's in just like what they call that? A black hole? Like, she just gulps it all up and still wants more. She never gets full. I don't understand, little girl. Why you be so hungry all the time? You know? She's super cute, though. This was her first Christmas, but let me tell you this. Todd and I didn't really buy her anything because mm, the way we look at it is yeah she had got a whole bunch of stuff right before christmas because she's a newborn and then we did have some family members who bought her a couple things and i'm like what do you buy for a one month old i mean that they don't already have she didn't get any gifts not from us not from santa the other thing about it is it's like she i mean you know she got a lot of love which i guess is the most important thing you're supposed to get on christmas right you got a whole bunch of love I mean, most of the, the person who got the most gifts, I would say, is Ace. He got so many toys. He was just ridiculous. Like, I don't even think he can appreciate all the toys that he just got. Really, we need to give most of them away. Because I think he just need to keep the, the best ones that he likes the most. And then the rest need to be given to somebody else. Because we just went overboard. It was like overkill. The other thing we did, we went and took pictures with Santa at the mall. The reason why I did that at Lenox Mall is because the same Santa that was there when Riley was a baby is still there now. Can you believe it? So the same exact Santa that's in Riley's baby pictures are in Ace's baby pictures. And unfortunately, I did not get to take Blaze to get her picture done with Santa because my mother gave me this long lecture about she's too new, Santa got too many germs on him, all them babies and different people sitting in his lap, she didn't want um, Blaze to be up there with them. So she came and watched Blaze while I took Ace up to um, the mall at the last minute and got a picture so yes i waited till the last minute the line was long as hell luckily for me somebody showed me some love and let me break them in the line yes i broke the line i broke the rules because i just couldn't even do it honey i couldn't i couldn't be sitting in no line for no hour just to wait on santa are you finished little girl okay so just to give you a tidbit i'm lazy so i like to buy these little um ready to use Infamil bottles, we pop the tops. These are only two ounces. She runs through these. So normally I have to give her about three of these back to back just so that she can have a full six ounces. She's only, how did she just turn? What, six weeks now? I think she's six weeks now. Yeah, uh, she's six weeks now and she's killing these little bottles. Like this ain't enough for her. So um, she's on a schedule? No. <laughs> Blaze is not on a schedule. She still be waking up in the middle of the night, wanting her diaper changed, and wanting to eat. I cannot wait till she gets on a schedule. But what I can say is that she is giving us a few more hours than she was in the beginning. Because in the beginning, ooh, child, it's crazy. I do not have a night nurse. I know some people choose to get a night nurse. Um, basically, because I have so many people helping during the day. From my mama be coming over here a lot. My cousin Weenie be coming over here to help. And Miss Peggy, which you, you probably saw her on the show. And my friend Katrina. They all be helping me with Blaze and Ace on a regular basis during the daytime. So at nighttime, I'll be like, you know, that's just really our time to just really bond with nobody kind of interrupting and, you know, trying to cut into that. So even though it's like, it puts me in a, like a team no sleep situation, it's still like a little moment where nobody else is gonna be saying, can I hold up, you know, try to take her away. I don't know, maybe if, um, maybe later on, when she's, you know, a couple months old, if it's hard for me to get her on a schedule or whatever, maybe I might get somebody to come and help me figure that out. Right now, I'm not really um, taping anything or doing anything. The shy raps, Real Housewives wrapped. I do have some more projects that's coming up real soon. Will I still be able to be up all night without any help? I don't know. I might need to get some help then, but until then, I'm just gonna um, see how it goes. Right, Blaze? She quiet. My little co my cousin Weenie dressed her today. Let me see. Blaze, I'm gonna show the world what you got on today. Say my cousin Weenie bought me this outfit. 
Yeah, she got socks on her hands. Now we normally have mittens. The mitt, I didn't have none that went with this outfit today. Or either they dirty, I don't know. She just got on socks on her hands because I don't want her cutting her face. She got some really nice long fingernails. And I don't want to use the clippers on them yet. I need to get one of those file things, I think. But I don't have one yet. So if you got one of those companies that got a file, go on and send it to me. And I'll try it out. <laughs> right now, we don't really take blades anywhere other than the doctor. I know um, like January 17th, I think that's when she's gonna get her set of shots, which is when like we're gonna be able to take her on a plane and different things because I just don't want her to get sick, man. I don't have time for her to be getting sick because this is flu season and I don't want nobody around my baby hacking and coughing and wanting to touch her and all of that. So basically she hasn't seen anywhere but the inside of this house and the doctor's office. And if you are sick, I don't want you at my house. Even the people that be helping me, if they start sniffing, I'd be like, don't come over here no more. And that's how we roll. So you know what? I wanted to show a little bit of extra love to Facebook. Reason being is because it shows that 60% of you guys um, that have been coming to look at my channel come from clicking the link on Facebook, which makes me feel kind of special because I didn't know y'all love me like that on Facebook. Thank you. <laughs> But with that being said, I'm gonna show you looks to show you some love back. I wanna do a giveaway and I'm gonna give you some candy coated cosmetics. Yeah. get your life together okay i don't know if you saw it but on uh what was the episode last week or the week before that my husband and when i was at the uh, triple date dinner and my mother my husband said he loved my makeup and he likes when i do it myself you're looking beautiful tonight babe Your makeup looks good oh i did it myself i know <laughs> you know i like it better when you do it yourself and the makeup that i had on in that scene was candy coated cosmetics so get into it go to candycoated.com check us out get you some or Go ahead and make sure you like, subscribe, share, so that you can be one of those people from Facebook who has an opportunity to win and get you some free candy coated cosmetics. So my other kids, because <laughs> all we've been talking about is Blaze. Ace is doing amazing. He's been having fun. Welcome to Ace Face and Girls. <laughs> Basically, he's going to be playing with toys and giving them away. You can click here and follow Ace. What else? Oh, Miss Riley, I already told y'all that, that Riley got into NYU, so she's super happy about that. And so am I. And then Miss Kayla, I already told you in the year in review that she will be going to her fashion school, um, Misa Hilton's fashion school in January. So super excited for her. But in the meantime, in between time, she also works production on the television show, Love and Hip Hop New York. So she does big things. She has a job hunting, she gets her coins. So yeah, everybody in this little household here is doing their thing and you know, working towards the future. The only person that gets to relax is this one. Only for a short time, because I'm gonna have her doing something too. Thanks for checking in. Make sure you go ahead and do what you gotta do so that you can win some of this candy coated cosmetics. And that is your baby update for now. Today is the day that we are doing a shoot for candy coated cosmetics. Why well, can't talk? Candy coated cosmetics. I don't know why. I act like that was tongue twister or something. Anyway, today we're getting down to business. We have some great women from all walks of life representing what candy coated cosmetics can look like. You know? Don Juan pulled this all together. It was his brainchild as far as this photo shoot is concerned. I don't want to take any credit from him because it was his idea to basically women from, from different careers, you know what I mean? Because basically as a woman, I think a lot of people look at me and they think, oh, okay, she's strong, she's about her business, and she does all these things. But in all actuality, 
there are a lot of women who are out there that are about their business, who are strong, who are talented, who are successful, who are leaders. All those women are the type of women that I want to be a part of my circle. And in that circle, we all need to look good. And that's where Candy Coated Cosmetics comes in. We started Candy Coated Cosmetics last year and allowing um, our consultants to be able to sell our products but it did so well and everything is going so good we decided to also open open it up to the public that's what we're doing now so that's what we're doing a new photo shoot and you know showing you different looks and how candy coated makes sense for you by the time you see this candy coated cosmetics will finally be here i know it's i've been talking about this and throwing hints out about this for a minute now and i'm glad that now it's website that you can go right to and order you know come on come through candy coated cosmetics candycoated.com